Hey, today we are talking with Tim and Diane. We finished our kitchen up a few months ago, I believe it's been, and this is the first opportunity. I think somebody had knee surgery. Yes, knee surgery. Knee surgery, yeah. So this is the first opportunity where uh, Tim felt like getting around. So we're going to talk to them about their beautiful kitchen. And first thing I want to know is how long did you think about it before you decided to actually move forward? That's always a good question. Oh, probably 10 years. <laughs> 10 years, and you've been in the house how long? 35. 35. 35. 35. Yeah. Beautiful area, uh, Peace Street Corners area, beautiful neighborhood. In fact, you found out about us through your friend Linda. Mm -hmm. We were doing her project. Yeah. And what's funny about Linda, if, I'm, if I remember right, I saw her like four years ago, the first time. Uh -huh. Looked at her kitchen, gave her a quote, and it took her four years to think through it and decide exactly what she wanted to do. Uh, at least we were quicker than that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But once we started hers and when we were doing hers, she was telling me about her friend uh -huh. was wanting to do it. Right. Well, I went over to her house like four times and well, it really helped me to figure out what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be the next question. Um, how hard was it to decide on kind of the look and what you were wanting to do to your kitchen? I don't think we knew what we wanted to do until you <laughs> actually got yeah. here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We you... did the, the classic Pinterest things and <laughs> looked at other kitchens and went to showrooms, but it still wasn't crystal clear no, until you no, got no. here. And I was able to walk you through it, show you pictures of, of ideas and giving you ideas. What were some of the things we did to make the kitchen more functional? You want to go first? <laughs> there you go. Um, I think. The things that come to my mind are the drawers, number one. They just make everything more organized and much easier to get to. Um, it used to be you'd have to almost get on your hands and knees to get to the back of a cabinet. Yeah, so you're talking about the pull-out drawers? Correct. Which will show them under the, the counter. Okay. Change the side too. Yes. We made a yes. drawer base. It used to have all right. yes. the top and yep. drawers, so yes. you'll see that in the video. And the we made it bigger and put the cabinet on the back oh, yeah. side. Correct. The shelves, it's yeah. And the it's cabinet awesome. on the back side is really functional because it's on the side close to the oven. So okay. there's so a real function there. Okay. Um, also, we changed some of the drawers or doors that opened into drawers and that made it much more functional as well because it used to be that everything was a, a door almost. And typically a lot of houses, this one thing I see a lot, they don't have enough drawers. They'll have all the top little thin drawers yep. and yes. sometimes they'll have a lot of little bitty ones side by side, which I think in yours, what we, have. we changed out some of those yes. to make yes. one big drawer. Changed Correct. So there's a kind of things. Just keep five of them out that were from small, too small to Yeah, so those are, those are way better. much more functional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then even in your, your, what we call a drywall pantry versus the pantry uh, you'll see in the video we added the pull out shelves in there because in a deep pantry you um, can't get to stuff in the back exactly it's, it's impossible the pantry is huge, now, huge. That, that, the pull outs in a pantry yeah. is probably one of the one we of the can things. find everything that we yeah. we know we have five barbecue sauces yeah exactly. whereas before we just go buy another one because we couldn't find the other one yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now so, what about huge. okay so what about the countertops. How hard was it deciding what you wanted to do on the countertops? Once we went with you, it was easy. We just... Spotted this one and said this is the one we like, which is how we buy most things. Yeah, and you know. walked down the aisle and came back and yeah. you really like this one and um, and this is amazing with this look and, and the We really location. like it. It's it's not boring. We were going to go with quartz. We were. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this is so much prettier. Yeah, that's, <laughs> and um, you and the people at the Stone Place did uh -huh. a good job of talking pros and cons. And once we realized the, the cons of the quartz, it became obvious we needed to yeah. have this. Yeah. yeah, and with you, you know, your family's grown. It's just you guys. You probably don't 
do like a ton of entertaining every week to where you're concerned about people, you know, having no. a mess, things no. like that. So all that right. goes into the equation of what type of countertops you right. want. Right. I'm still a big fan of the natural beauty of the stone, of natural stone. And that's one thing that I like about this is it comes out of the ground that way. It's just gorgeous. The other thing that I love a lot is the sinks and the faucet, which you told me we had to have even though I didn't really think I wanted that the faucet. It's awesome. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and the deep sink, awesome. Isn't that nice? Very, yes. very happy with the sink. It made a huge difference. And I think that look goes well with the kitchen too. Yes, yeah. it does. I, think it and, does. I mean, I just didn't think I wanted that. That's too, it was too modern-y looking, but oh, it's great. Now, one thing we did change was on this side, I believe we ran the cabinets up higher, right? Correct. Yes. And one thing, this was just a big balance across yes. here. Yeah. And yes. I think you can see it in the video maybe, but And I think the um, island became far more functional because we just expanded it by 12 inches, but that made a world of difference. Well, we, if not, I'll get a picture that this opens up to where you have additional storage up there. Mm -hmm. That turned out really nice. Um, we added, uh, which I've got pictures of, several drawers with cutlery and things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's nice. This is a nice addition to the project. And of course, the backsplash turned out real pretty. Yes. Oh, yeah. And that was, I hate to say it, but that was entirely your idea, and we were very reluctant to do it. One thing we added was the uh, push up, raise up uh, part of the uh, cooktop mm -hmm. with the vent, and that seems to work really well. Like I said, this one actually comes up higher than some yes. The old ones will come about six inches. This thing comes up maybe 12 inches or so. It's going to work better to, to pull that. Um, Especially on the taller uh, pots, for example. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So what were some of the things that we did, that, the functional things that we did that you, uh, that you liked about the kitchen? The things that I like the most of the kitchen is the fact that we expanded the island, which made the island functional. 12 inches seemed to make a world of difference for us. Uh, the pull-out drawers were critical for us to be able to get stuff. I think the little minor things like the lighting and the electrical outlets, uh, which weren't really normally done 35 years ago, yeah. make a world of difference in today's kitchen. Huge difference today, that's right. Yeah. The one thing we added, like for the island, we'll show in the picture, instead of two doors, we had two drawers yep. there. We had several places where the small drawer side by side, we made a big drawer. That was huge. We added some cutlery and some of them, yep. things like that, which increases the functionality completely. Adding the extra set of drawer doors on the outside, close to the oven, made that in the back side of the yeah. yep. In the pantry, we can find our stuff with the pull-out drawers. The pull-outs in the pantry, yes. We talked about that earlier. Um, when you have a deep pantry, if, um, if all you can reach is a little ways and it's Type of tea. Yeah. There's stuff back there that's back there for a long time. Right? Yeah, yep. right. So now with the pull-out pantry or pull-out shelves in the pantry, you can actually get this stuff easier. Uh, easier to find, yes. Totally increases the functionality of that. Sure. Yeah.